All right, so we're out in our pre-adventure area. I've got Maxie, a nice little four-month-old British-style uh, hunting lab, and uh, my mentor dog, Mr. No Name. And what we're working on is retrieving in cover. So Georgie, has been on around here behind us. Okay, now my goal for this session is just to get Maxie to go off in that uh, uh, in those tall weeds over there and look for his retrieving items. So we're going to kind of work towards that in a progressive manner. So I'm going to take one of his retrieving items and throw it right to the edge of uh, the tall weeds. Oh, very good. Then I'm going to take his second one and throw it inside the weeds just a little bit. Very nice, so that he gets the idea of what we're working on here. And then my last throw is going to be pretty deep off in the grass. Now, the reason I'm only doing three repetitions is because this is our first, uh, you know, mid 80 degree day and he's a black dog and it's the middle of the day. So I have to cut my sessions, uh, you know, short when it's hot because the exertion level is so much more for the dog. But uh, Maxie's a pretty good dog, so I anticipate that he's going to end uh, this session well. So I'm going to throw my retrieving item way off in the weeds. All right, Georgie, go up there and watch him hunt for it. Now, look, guys, if you're really lucky, oh, that was too easy for him. <laughs> oh, Maxie, you're too good. Uh, so the point I was getting ready to make was that, uh, like, if you throw your retrieving item off in the weeds and your dog, uh, you know, doesn't go over there and get it right off the bat or maybe he gives up on the hunt, don't yell at him and encourage him a lot. Because when you go to encouraging him, what you end up doing is drawing his attention away from the activity. Just back up and uh, on your next session, you know, make the session not quite so challenging. Okay, now with Maxie, we had a weird problem where it was a little bit too easy for him. So we're going to <laughs> We're going to try to throw it. Let me turn him around here so he can see what's going on. We're going to try to throw it way off in those weeds. Kind of hide it on him a little bit. There we go. All right, George, you go up there and watch him hunt for it. And hopefully you guys will be able to see what it's like when a dog's having to put some effort into finding something. Well, <laughs> he did it again. All right, well, I'm going to throw I'm going to throw it one more time and try to make it hard for Max. Uh, you know what I'll do is I'm going to throw it over here in these briars a little bit and... Uh, that way, we'll give, uh, we'll give Maxie a little bit of a challenge. All right, Georgie, go over there now. So I threw it in the high weeds where there's some briars and stuff. And uh, so maybe it'll take Maxie a minute to find it. You'll be surprised, guys, how a little bit of briars will make a dog uh, not want to fetch something. <laughs> <laughs> well, not Maxie though. All right, well, that's what happens, guys. I mean, sometimes you get lucky and uh, you get a really awesome dogs. And the people that sent me, uh, Maxie, they did a lot of research. And so all these drills, uh, of course, they're gonna make me look good, but it's not really me. <laughs> Cause my whole point of that little exercise was to make it look hard for Maxie so I could give you guys some encouragement. But trust me, it doesn't go like that very often. So uh, keep your chin up and uh, keep moving forward no matter how much trouble you have and resist the urge to like, um, cheerlead your puppy too much or boss them too much. Just go out, set up your sessions so that they're challenging, uh, but not so challenging that you induce failure. All right, guys, good luck.